so guys now we are going to jump on to the question answer now you are going to work hard i hope that you guys have your you know uh, everything your things with you you are having put with one hand you are doing the numerical with one hand i hope that you are doing that let's start the session with the first question for today i'm going to give exactly 5 minutes to do this go forward and do it first question <clears throat> a very a merely simple question a needle placed at 45 cm from the lens forms an image on a screen 90 cm on the other side of the lens identify the type of the lenses and determine its focal length very simple they are just asking you what is the focal length and they are just asking you which type of a mirror is it simple go ahead like you never get such an easy question and this kind of question the, so the difficulty level is only this much for cbc 10 that's what i'm trying to tell you so chill this is one of the board questions by the way so go ahead great i'm going to launch the poll guys right now i hope that you have uh, made your decisions uh, uh, with respect to the thing so yes choose your answer what is your answer go ahead option a b c or t pranav yes hi pranav can yes, you hear me yes sir okay how are you pranav you're doing good yeah okay so pranav S sir uh, my answer is d Okay, one second, brother. One second. Give me one second. Yes, your answer is D. Correct. Your answer is D. Okay, let's let's keep that option D there as table, and let's try to find it out. And how you did it? Let's let me put it in a way. How you did it? We'll do that way, and I'll tell you what is the mistake there. So you are the king okay. here, completely. Okay. So just tell me uh, what was the first step you did to do this problem. Sir. Sir, by lens formula, one by f is equal to one by v minus one by u. I start substituted v. Is uh, that the first step which you did? That's my question. Uh, is that the first step which you did? Using me, me, uh, lens formula. Is that the first step you did? So then, Pranav, you have already lost half of the marks because you have not made a rough diagram. What's oh. my point? So first thing yes. which you need to do is to make a rough diagram. Make anything here in the center. and draw a diagram because you don't know which lens is it correct now do what you need to do a needle placed at 45 cm from the lens so you know object distance is always on the left hand side so this is here yes. 45 cm so yeah. you you have taken 45 cm no minus 45 cm right yes yes sir correct huh? and oh v as 30 cm one second there is one more person who is unmuted okay yes Yes, Pranav. Please unmute yourself. Click on the mic button, Pranav. Yes. Okay. You can hear me, right? Okay. What is the next part given to you? It stated a uh, lens forms an image on a screen placed 90 centimeter on the other side of the lens. So that yes. means it's going to form on the right hand side. Here it is 90 centimeter. Now, Pranav, yes. my question to you is: Is there any scenario when I told you that a concave lens makes an image on the right hand side? is was there any lens no yeah, on each no right it does not no correct it does not so pranav don't you think here itself we have got the answer yes we have got the answer here itself that it cannot be a concave lens so when i look back i can find out that option a and option c are wrong so option yes. a and option c are out of the picture i need to find out option b or option d now my next yes, question sir. to you pranav is now my next question to you pranav is the question is identify the type of lens and determine its focal length you have identified the lens its convex lens you have identified it they are asking determine the focal length now if you see the option the focal length is given as minus 30 cm in option b and plus 30 cm in option d prana when i started this session i asked you to remember something i told you the focal length for a convex lens is it positive or negative prana positive sir positive so which is correct answer prana uh con option d option d is yes, correct answer so did i even do the problem no, sir. we didn't even do the numerical but we have got yes. correct answer correct sir uh, yeah sir uh, means in exam sir we have to draw the diagram definitely diagrams for a light chapter is very important when you are doing mirrors and lenses very very if important. it's two, two marker then also then also no matter two mark one mark three mark no matter you need to draw the diagram take it from me okay okay 
Okay, okay. now let's do the problem. Now let's do the problem. Okay, because anyways we need to solve the problem since even if we have got the answer. So we, it is pretty clear that it's a convex lens, and we are going to draw the image. Okay, so we are going to draw the image. So uh, what distance is image? 90 centimeter. So here is my image, 90 centimeter. Done. Since we know it's a convex lens, I can put it as inverted. I know that convex lens forms an inverted image, so we can put it directly. So V is given to us positive 90 centimeter. Yes, Prana. Now we are going to apply yes, the lens formula. No? So 1 by f is equal to 1 by v minus 1 by u. So 1 by v is nothing but 1 by 90, and uh, yes. u is 45. So minus 45. This minus and that minus will become positive. So 1 by 90 yes. plus 1 by 45. That would be how much, Prana? 45 plus 90. I do LCM in different way. So I'm really oh. sorry about that. Yeah. But anyway, you can tell me the answer. It should come out to be one by thirty. Thirty and focal length is equal to thirty centimeter. Positive. Yes, sir. So now you have verified your answer. Done. Yes. Good. Yes. Thank okay, you, sir. Okay, no problem, no problem, Pranav. You did amazingly well. And the other person also who was unmuted, apparently, you also did great. So guys, I hope that you actually, you know. Found out that without even doing the question, you got the correct answer. It just takes that much amount of time. But apparently, you do not get an MCQ in the examination. But but you got the gist that how much easy it can be. So is everyone okay with the solution which we have got? Have everyone understood this? Please give me a yes or a no. Yeah. Definitely, you need to draw the ray diagram. Definitely. That's okay, Prakash. That's not a problem at all. Okay, I can see that 90 percentage of you said good. You understood. Super. That's what I want. But I am, anyways, going to summarize this. Going to repeat this because you need to understand it. Correct. Very clearly, all of you need to understand. So look over it very clearly. It, everything is given in the question. A needle placed at 45 centimeter from the lens. Object distance 45 centimeter. Negative value. An image on a screen placed 90 centimeter on the other side of the lens. 90 centimeter image distance on the other side, so positive value. Chill. Done. With that itself, we understood concave lens. It cannot be in the picture because concave lens never forms an image on the right hand side. It always forms on the left hand side. So concave lens out of the picture. Convex lens is what I have got. I'll draw the image 90 centimeter. So now you have U. Now you have V. Now you have found out it's a convex lens. The next thing which you need to find out is the focal length. You are pretty sure that focal length must be positive value. That's what you have learned. So you will apply the lens formula. You'll get the uh, focal length. And what do you see? The assumption which you made is correct. Now you have become experts. Done. Super clear.